Hey now, I'm Kendra. I love to watch. This is the weekly watch list, and today we are reacting to X Men '97 Episode Two: Mutant Liberation Begins. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome back. I'm Kendra. Well, I just came off a really crazy roller coaster of uh, a reaction series for The Walking Dead, so I was like, let me take it down a couple of notches. Still exciting but also just ultimately chill and nostalgic in a different way instead of the bloody badass Rick Grimes we're going to chill with the X-Men crew. We just finished reacting to the first episode the other day. It was awesome. Really brought back memories. Love, love, love that fucking theme song. I love the updates that they've done to the animation. Like I said before I was a kid when I saw these for the first time growing up. I can't really remember everything and it's been I haven't revisited any of it um, since I was a kid. Um, I mostly just remember the theme song and some of the emerging themes uh, but I'm really excited to go back down memory lane and I'm really excited to get into this storyline kind of from for the first time it's like a refreshing refresher course I guess of old school X-Men and Magneto is up to something why the hell does he have all of Professor Xavier's stuff like well, why let us find out I think the episode is called mm, the mutant liberation begins well I mean there you have it that's what he's fucking up to. All that Professor Xavier owns now belongs to me, and I'm going to use it to liberate the mutants and kill all these regular normie folk. Let's see. Here we go with the 90s vibe. Top, top, top favorite theme song of all time. <gasps> 97. Bro. Workers have managed to unload all passengers save one. Any sudden moves in the wheel could come crashing down. Oh, I'm stuck on it. That's like one of my worst fears. I hate Ferris wheels, man. Ooh. Yep. No, oh, thank you. No! Who did that? Magneto. That's metal. Is that who I think it is? It's Magneto. He's a good guy now. What is this damage control, Magneto? Like, what's up? Clear to both humans and mutants. I don't get it, Jean. I don't either, man. Did the professor, not trust me. Maybe he did this for us. Across the globe, reports are flooding in. Mutant you know, Jean is thinking about her child in the future. She wants her family, and I don't blame her. This, this fucking score, man. I'm a big audiophile or whatever music nerd. Adore this score. You think regular folks can sleep knowing you demons are down here lurking? Please, don't hurt Leech. Demons. Ugh. The depths you humans go. Oh. Even denying these outcasts the indignity of your waste. Bro, Magneto has a point. You know? <laughs> are intimately acquainted. But I am the master of magnetism. Ooh, Magneto's a bad at. Like, did I appreciate Magneto enough when I was a kid? I don't think I did. Magneto, you shall never be afraid again. Come to my school that I've taken from Charles Xavier. What's the professor thinking? The only safe and sure way to destroy your enemy is to make him your friend. Mark Twain. The professor had a plan. So you know, well, why didn't he tell any of you all? Leading the X-Men. That's a new one. <laughs> Plenty of us at this table have passed so dirty they don't squeak no matter how much spit you got. Sure what? Maybe we should take a page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. I have arranged for the more Oh, Eric. To travel to the it's Eric to you. Of Genosha. <laughs> it saddens me that none of you thought to use his considerable finances to do the same but this is one what is with these matters arm which we can gloves my guy will improve the tragic fact that i did not consign those sapiens oh that's the new colonizers 
Okay, prove it. Let Gene scan your mind. Yeah. See your real plan. Yeah. Let Gene read your no. Yeah, well, Gene, why not? Shit. To assess honesty is another matter. Even if I sensed Magneto's intentions were sincere, that's today. This hour. This minute. Girl, what? We check every minute of every day. I'm now, okay, now I'm with Cyclops. You and Mrs. Summers were leaving us. I'm keeping an eye on uh, you. Scott, ah. This is what the professor wanted. Please. My intentions here were not to cause drama or discord. Are you Mr. sure, Magneto? You have been our fiercest foe for years. A desire for you to prove yourself is only natural. Storm, you are the closest thing to a goddess as we will ever see. Okay, now I'm back with Magneto. Do not lightly deny your request and demand your trust instead. After all our tete a tete, not the tete a tets. Finally realized what I did ages ago. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. This is a juicy. I was possessed by a malevolent cosmic entity intent on consuming all of She just says that so casually. There was Scott fighting by my side. Yeah, why are you fighting with Scott right now, though? no longer leave now that Magneto has taken charge. I need to tell you something, and I need you not to judge me too harshly. If he's a mutant, how do I tell him he's different? That the world will remind him of it every day. Just he tell him, hon. Because that's how it's going to happen. It's not going to be gentle with him, so. Human. But then I remember how my mutant gifts brought me to this mansion to a sister. Thank you, Storm. Ah, giving me the heebie-jeebies pouting with that old bucket of yours. Back when we were friends, I would always friends. sense Charles in my mind. Oh, not okay. Invaded. I, thought I thought he was talking about this. I was in his thoughts and he in mine. When we parted ways, I told myself I needed this to protect myself. Well, from well, hold on powers. now, friends. But you were worried if you still felt how much he loved you, you wouldn't be able to go through with your crusade. Mm -hmm. And yet, mm -hmm. here you are, mm -hmm. dragged in like a... I'm going to need to consult with Black Gay Three Comic Geek back. about this. Brought about a world more tolerant towards mutants. My past is too littered with error. Mine was too, but the X-Men still took me in. I didn't go about demanding their trust. I earned it. I feared you would do your best to avoid being alone with me, Rose. Oh, we're taking gloves off? Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? That cat's got to stay in its bag. You hear me? Chill. Don't let Magneto be the bi mutant villain that we all need. Okay. When the good guys show up, we don't lose our cool. When the good guys show up. Cyclops is such a walking meme. I love him. Saying, think twice. Our rifles are resistant to your electromagnetic powers. Uh oh. Think twice, Magneto. Oh, your rifles, but not your planes and choppers, bitch. What's up now? What's up? I'm gonna chop you up. Fuck your rifles. I'm gonna chop them up too. What you got? I should have thought twice. Crimes against. Well, she's bold. I'll give her that. Should I successfully vindicate myself in what I will generously assume is a fair trial? Generously I assume. Earn your trust. That is how due process works. Like I was saying, the music is really. I yield. Ooh, it's making this super intense, and I don't remember it being like that when I was a kid. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, Magneto. These acts prove Am I developing a question, Magneto? Doubt, and offer a preview of the zeal with which he would resume his quest to dominate oh. this planet should he be exonerated oh. today. Have you seen Scott? Oh, he's there with the others, making sure Magneto doesn't pull one of his. My burly bear Wolverine. He didn't tell me. A lot of that going around lately. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were leaving. I don't like it, bub. The day mankind made Magneto pay. Uh oh. Stir the pot, boys, and keep them distracted. I'll only have one shot. Oh, what do people think they should have just killed him? <laughs> With his dramatic gloves, child. My people's homes were burned. I was. I love his voice. Born a mutant. An abomination to their misnamed gods. <sighs> you claim justice is overdue, but so is healing. You build robots to hunt us. 
callers to chain our power. Humanity must protect itself. Protection? That is extermination. Are we truly to believe then that in the face of what you consider to be extermination, you would walk Charles Xavier's path? Jane, gotta get into the city. Crowds lost their blasted mind. <laughs> and of course she's going into labor. He's, he's here. Apocalypse. <laughs> the baby! <laughs> I'm not Wolverine, Trav and Gene. No! Get out of the way! Rogue, secure the perimeter outside. You notice that the sharks are floating above liquid hot magma. The weapon on his back, but his armor. Sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. I don't know why I'm doing this. Sorry. Here to make sure Gene freaks like Magneto pay for their crime. Who is giving them these weapons? No Humanity answers to no one. Well, why aren't you dressed like a human instead of a falcon or whatever the fuck that mask is? Act like you got it so bad. Normal people have it hard too. Damn Cyclops! Damn Cyclops! Ow! It's the whining. Yeah! Oh shit! Woo! Scott, hurry! The baby's coming, Scott! Oh damn! In labor. Morphs here, but they're losing the line. Of course, she would be going into labor while they're trying to defend the damn UN. I need your men stationed at every door. And call a Magneto. Now who does she think she is? Bitch, I'm Storm. Fuck you. Silent. Heed my commands, and you shall survive. You people can lose control of your powers, and if she needs a C-section, I'll show you a C-section. C-section is ass. Rogue, can you use your powers to siphon his medical expertise? What? Excuse me, do what? I, I didn't know she could do all of that. If I slip and touch your baby, my powers... Rogue, I trust you. But what if you kill the doctor? Prep an IV and get this lady to a room. Okay. Okay. Go Magneto and Storm, Magneto and Storm, make an electric go storm or something. Let us see how their mob manners fare against the shock of good conduct. Oh, damn! Magneto! Oh, she about to save his life! she had to sacrifice herself for his ass and now of course she has lost her powers awesome but at least do something badass on her behalf the breeze is gone i cannot feel it nor the moisture nor the air what has he done to me magneto this was not what we wanted lies my kind splayed before you uh, power uh, can somebody help fucking storm please what the fuck their awesome power to protect a world that hates and fears them no. Let us go. No. he done kidnapped the u.n where you taking him man you gonna take him to the sun you gonna drop him what you doing are you taking him to the G genosha scotia why are you crying, bro? You scared me, bro. It's cold up there. I don't know. What you gonna kill these people? What's going on? Ingrate sycophant worm. <sighs> there was a time I would smite you all for what was done. This man says smite. Y'all need to be afraid. For an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. How vast it is versus how small we make it. Charles Xavier trusted me with his dream. This is a shared world with a common future. Kind if only have the right real bigots in the real world I who look up to Magneto to could actually hear what he's saying and act accordingly. I mean, this is a cartoon, but this is a great message. Do not make me let you down. Mm, 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 bars, bars. Nathan, Charles Summers. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't know what he becomes in the comic books. I'm sorry, I don't read the comics. I'm sorry. I hear you and Jean have begun to make arrangements to leave. Does this mean you trust me? Cut to the chase. On Xavier's dream. The professor trusted you, and I trust him. Be vigilant. Oh. Tragedy lures with fortune first. This was a good week for our people. Yet it was not without cost. Uh, I, yeah, what about Storm? Y'all just casually drinking fucking dark roast. What about your, your dark skin queen? <laughs> Inhibitor collars use radiation to temporarily neutralize our mutant power. Okay, temporary. The executioner's laser rifle fired a concentrated dose. It affects genetics on a cellular level. Suppressing a mutant's abilities without the need for a collar itself. Aurora. How long? Additional tests will be needed before. Hank, please. How Is it permanent? Long? The effects appear permanent. Oh my god! That just made me really emotional. Wow. That was that's terrible. Oh no, poor Roro. Now I appreciate Magneto as a character a lot more now. I do, but like, what the fuck? You gonna sacrifice Roro's powers to save him? Y'all better fix it. You help the others understand why I could not stay to save this day. Y'all better fix it. To be heard, seen, to feel another soul. Finally seeing yours? Connection is a fragile treasure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to then sometimes watch it break in a blink. Who's that gambit? Oh, is he jealous? We are no longer connected, Jean. Well, where are you going, Aurora? And now we walk in two very different worlds. Like another woman's life, or another person's dream, Muff, Roro. And we will respect her decision. Man, That's shut up! She, the blast had your she's name. this way because- thank you, Gambit! Mm-hmm, I know you're jealous, but I agree. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk, and come right home, <laughs> happy as a- She's back! No, I don't think that's Storm, baby. Jean? I need the X-Men. Is this like Gene from another fucking universe or something? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the next step of Sildy. Okay, Mr. Magneto, I see you. I really like this episode and I'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10. Let's talk about it. Wow, that actually turned out to be a really emotional episode. I... <laughs> I started watching this, A, because I love the X-Men, and B, because, you know, it just, it's just really exciting to get to see them on my screen again after so long, and they brought me so much joy as a kid, but then I started watching this episode, and the last episode was great, like, it was really good, um, but this episode really felt, like, grown. There was some grown, there was definitely a lot of cartoony stuff in there, you know, but there was a lot of grown-ass themes in there. I mean, it really upset me that Aurora um, that Storm got hit by that damn neutralizer gun thing. But then to find out that it's permanent or that they think that the damage is permanent and her reaction, I just really felt it. It was just like a really powerful moment and it really hit me and it made me fucking cry. What the fuck? So that's interesting. Magneto. Dude, I think I have a crush on Magneto. I'm gonna need to grapple with my feelings about this but overall I think that his character is just a lot more interesting to me than he ever was when I was a kid you know I was for the good guys you know when Magneto showed up I was like man I ain't trying to hear that you know X-Men fart on his dude you know but um now I'm just like really compelled by his complexity he has a fucking point you know I know I understand his side of things I understand where he's coming from I think the movies the, Ian McKellen did a good job of portraying the deep wounds and trauma of a man who never wants to feel that way again. But I think this version of him 
in this storyline definitely especially those speeches he gave at the UN and when he was like levitating the courtroom above the planet he was talking about you know Xavier's dream and acceptance versus tolerance or intolerance and a shared world and you know how useless and and horrible and destructive bigotry is this coming from the person who is supposed to be the enemy or whatever makes you understand that there are ways to write villains that are just way more compelling um when you give them that complexity and that humanity ultimately even though he is like a mutant or whatever it is a shared world there must be balance otherwise you're gonna be at war forever don't expect mutants to give up their rights don't expect marginalized oppressed people to give up their right to be on this shared planet just because you don't like that they're here why why would why would you expect that because you're not gonna do it so there you go you got your endless war you got your your unstoppable force meets your immovable object so what you gonna fucking do coexist maybe could you try the the animation is really good the fucking music is really good and like i said that moment when storm found out that the hit that she took um caused permanent damage it was really really uh powerful but it, it it really got me so very emotional really really love it i'm gonna rate this a nine out of ten it was a really really good episode next on the list episode three see you soon peace